his flat in Kingston, he started Corrupt FM. So Corrupt FM was a real thing. It was a real thing? Yeah. Mm. That was the only way of getting the realest proper music. In it, and it's the, fir- it's the first time you had uh, power as a teenager. Yeah. Like with Graf as well, yeah? The fir- the, you know, kids that have no control or everything, the first time they have their own freedom and control, yeah. I'm going to go right on this wall and I can do it on my time and, and yeah, no one's telling right. me no. You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, or central as you need to be, should be, could be, want to be. That's right. We're not dealing more on bees over here. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight, everyone's got the television app, free download, Android, iPhone. Uh, yeah, you know what time it is. We're coming here with some legacy holders. We've got some dons inside the place. And my goodness, we're going to chat about some stuff that you guys. Untapped in conversations previously documented by the man himself, Alan Sipa. People do nothing. The yeah. Dunk on Daka Dapper Dan. Yes. How are you, brother? Yes, my guy. Are you saying you good? Okay, okay. <laughs> I feel like we've already done the podcast before yeah. I even started. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, good, man. Yeah. Still pretending to say hello to each other and that. Yeah, 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 like yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. We were just saying it's, it's, it's a bad one that, you know, with, with social media being that this ever so, so important, connective thing for everybody. I like, feel like we've seen it, known each other for ages. Yeah, man. Yeah, I feel like I've met you bare times. <laughs> yeah. Like when you open the door, I was like, yes, what's going on? It's <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. You move. <laughs> yeah, 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 physically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a bottom half to you. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> but you must get that with a lot of people. I mean, because of your relevant, more recently with the the podcast and yeah. the TV show and whatnot, that must have been like a real moment where people were just naturally. I mean, I, I've had it too. It's that feeling of they have met you, but they haven't. Yeah, for sure. It's yeah, a mad one, isn't it? Especially early on when people are staring at you and you're like, you're confused. Because you, know you forget. I mean? Yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> like, is this? Oh no. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that thing. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Because <laughs> it becomes so passe in mm, your life. That's mm. the thing that yeah. you just do. It's yeah. a thing, isn't it? Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. <sighs> but we ain't just talking about this business. You understand? Because uh, uh, we actually connected initially through the graffiti side of things yeah. and the podcast and whatnot. For sure, it? man. <laughs> like I've always been a fan of graph and like a specific era of graph as well, do you oh. know what I mean? Oh. So like, yeah, man, that's how I got into it. Obviously, I know who you are but from before, but <laughs> that's how I got into the podcast, yeah. I must admit, I'm surprised we hadn't actually connected before. That's, yeah. It's kind of criminal, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was down at all them nights, but I was just, I was in the crowd and that. Not you was backstage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, how the world turned. It changes. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, dude, you hit the marker as far as, generational graffiti is concerned because we are the same mm. that's that was my era mm. like before we jumped on big shout take big shout cosa we were just talking about yeah man big fan yeah golden eras yeah. man and so sepa was your graph name yeah back in the day man i mean nowhere near the, the levels the people you have on here but that that was like that was i mean when i was younger Everyone had a tag. Mm. Like, everyone at school. You know, like, you'd start by just graphing at school in the back of the bus. Just a thing, wasn't it? It was just a thing, like, MC, graphing, right. blazing. Yeah, yeah. That was just yeah. literally everything. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's who we used to look up to as well, because I'm from, like, Cheserton, Kingston sort of area. <clears throat> and it was all the South London graphers you look up to, innit? And it's just that bit further out from where mm. you are and that. Yeah, like, you know kind mean? of off the, off the radar. Yeah. But you can see it. You can see it. And you're getting influenced by, and all the hand styles and everything was that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Oh, hold on, big shout, Marcus. Hold tight, Marcus. Yeah, What's yeah. Up? <laughs> Original man, ever. You know, you know. Um, actually, you guys do a, you guys do a, a food. Uh, show yeah, man. Together, yeah, that's my boy, Marky. We do a little thing called Taste Cadets. Taste on Insta. Cadets. Yeah, yeah, like it's ba- and Kieran. Shout out Kieran as well out yeah. there. Um, yeah, man. That's just something that. Like, we're mad into food and travelling mm. and that. Like, it's not like, a, oh, look at me, I'm eating and cooking. It's more like travelling the world and learning different things yeah. about different cultures. and that. Like, I'm, me, myself, I'm half Kurdish, half Czech. Marky's Jamaican, Kieran's Scottish, so it's like, 
the children of the world. Oh, you know what I mean? uh, yeah, you were just going back to what I was saying, yes. It felt like the, there was a style in Graf at the time that, that resonated and kind of stuck within the outer reaches of, of London. Yeah, for sure. Cars yeah, from Crawley, Crawley and that yeah. was a very similar thing. You'd see the South and South was just it, mm, mm. the style of South. Yeah, because you got like the Croydon line and all that, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah for us it was just that to this day, I just love black and chrome. Like, even just outside of graph, I like things in black and white, not even coloured in. And I think that comes from the fact I just love the black yeah. and chrome straight letters, do you know what I mean? But it was, cri it, there's a talent, there's a talent to simplicity, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. pulling things off that aren't masked by sort of different flows and colours and stuff, mm -hmm. like, is a talent in itself, do you know what I mean? Like, pulling off a straight letter that's just fire. I love that, man. I love the simplicity of it, man, and the freedom. To me, it, it wasn't just the the actual writing itself. I think just, and a lot of people of my generation, and where I was from, like we weren't like the best graphers in that, but it was the whole lifestyle, wasn't it? Like, mm. going out, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, everyone's always free. Mm. Everything's always free. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that sort of, yeah, it was just, it's sick. it was sick, man. No responsibilities, yeah. you know. Like, when I think back at it, like, alcoholism was quite rife in teenagers. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. He was just pissed all the time from brew races. And that's they were. And they were yeah. We were wasted youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But as I say, you know, I just dipped my toe into it, man. It's just I was a fan more than anything. Like. Yeah. yeah. But but like you say, when you're when you're in amongst that circle, I mean, it's a, I always find even with the podcast, fucking privilege. I'm mm. like, it's a privilege because yeah, I'm sure, the yeah. circle's tight, and you, yeah. you can't just no, you can't just knock on the door and expect it to open. You were in the random, you know. Yeah, of course, and especially that generation of graph where it was, you know, like, you'd only hear stories and shit. It's kind of mm. like with music as well. Back in the day, like, mm. MCs and that, mm. you wouldn't know what they looked like unless you went to a rave, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. Or, or DJs or whatever, innit? The same with graph, like, you'd, you'd hear the stories, yeah. you'd you'd make this picture of who that is, you know what yeah. I mean? Then you finally meet them, you're like, rah, but, and then, that's why this podcast is sick, because for me, it's just like, it feels really personal. It feels like a real personal bit of it. Like, it's like it's my history, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Because it was like a small error, you know I what I mean? I love like, that. Yeah. 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 Nah, sick. Nah, that's why I definitely yeah. read oh, my brother. man. Yeah, my yeah, brother, yeah. My appreciate brother. it. Uh, yeah. And being in amongst that circle, I mean, we're getting to the early stages right here because obviously we start with means to go on. And the, that journey where you were, that association with mm. street culture yeah. and that, that, that whole period of your life growing yeah. up, was that something that was. That was the real deal. That was that was what your foundations and growing up were. That's what my foundations was, hundred percent. Right. Um, you know, especially when you when you first start like secondary school and that, right. and like your only ways of like I wasn't good at football. Mm. I wasn't good at like you know, schoolwork that good. You know what I mean? But the way of like I guess like bonding and communicating was through like emceeing, mm. graph. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Weed. <laughs> like, yeah, that sort of shit. Do you know what I'm saying? And that all links into, like, when I eventually did People to Do Nothing as well, mm -hmm. because I was doing, like, pirate radio. I was going to squat parties. Mm -hmm. That's where I met Bear Graffers as well. Mm -hmm. That was a proper graffing back yeah, then. It was a proper like, squat Back in, like, 02, 03. That, 99 to 2001, I was sitting in my room smoking weed, listening to pirate radio, and that would have been, like, Delight FM. Mm -hmm. And then I got into, like, jungle, drum and bass and that, and started going squat parties. And, and I'm from Bumpkin, like, I'm from Cheserton originally, mm -hmm. so that was the first time I started going out to different ends and that, like, obviously when, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like Stratford, Camden, all these places that yeah. were like, especially like Stratford and Hackney and all that, that was derelict and mad spots at the time, do you know yeah, what I mean? And like, it was, yeah. But you're, do you know what I mean? You're drunk or buzzing out your mind and it's all, do you know what I mean? It's, it's all, all one in the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could... And I was too, and I, at first I was too young to go to real drum and bass raves. Mm. So I've only, I only went to real drum and bass raves as I got much older. Mm. Like, just not the golden era of it, do you know what I mean? Mm. I was just at squat parties at the time. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. of, do you know what I mean? Not being able to get in and that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's a madness. Uh... But that's, that, when I think about it, that's, that whole, it's just all intertwined and that is, everything that inspired people to do nothing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know what I wanted to do. You know, I was doing just little, like, odd uh, call centre jobs or whatever, mm. selling a bit of weed. Like, I wanted to be a rapper as well after that mm. whole era. Mm -hmm. You know, but too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and uh, it's always it's almost better telling people you that you are it rather than actually doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. <the> one. <laughs> yeah, man. So like all of that. Star in the hood. I remember my mum being like, "This guy's crazy." Like, cause like foreign parents. You know what I mean? She expected more of me. <laughs> what did what did they say when you were like had all these? Lofty ambitions of rapping and all that. I even used to lie about pirate radio. Like I, I, I used, I used to tell her I was going pirate radio more than I was, just because I was just literally going blazing. You know what I mean? Like doing whatever. <laughs> and like, but now I say to her, those were all really important years because yeah. I wouldn't have uh, been inspired to write about what I did. Do you Man, know what I mean? it's crazy when you. Uh, I don't know whether it's a case of parents being on side and understanding, and then it comes to fruition. And and yes, thank God. We stuck it through with him and or her, yeah. and it went through. I don't even know. If it's, it's tough because tough- if I if I was a parent, I'd be worried, and, yeah. I, and I'd be like, they're not doing anything. Totally, and everything always feels like it's forever. Yeah. So at the time, even now, if something bad's happening, it feels like that's going to be that's it. This is yeah. shit, and it feels like that forever. So as a parent, you'd be like. This kid is a moron, and he's going to be like that forever. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm worried about? Yeah, yeah. Like it cuts yeah. off at that. Okay, yeah. well, so the the, yeah. the ride's over, yeah, and yeah. you're clearly shit at it. Look, <laughs> yeah, look, yeah, look yeah. where you are now. Yeah, yeah. Told you so. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I, I'm not surprised that she was, you know, worried, worried and yeah. stuff, and and she didn't know half the things I was doing. Like I had like quite a strict home. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like in the sense of curfews and all that, mm. compared to everyone else I knew that yeah. just did what they want. Um, is that the background of a, of, of a Czech um, uh, and, and Kurdish? Kurdish yeah, family? I think, I, yeah, hundred man. Like, I mean, she's from communist Prague, where that was her whole upbringing was rules. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what was put on them. But, um, you must have gone there growing up as a kid. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That place is yeah. amazing, bro. Yeah, yeah, Prague's sick. <sighs> and yeah, at so that good. time, like I remember going there in nineteen ninety nine. Wow, yeah. And so the they big hip hop scene there, man. Huge, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they had the Nova cars and the mm. Skodas and mm, Skoda, you Skoda, felt like you were back mm, in the day. Mm, mm, mm. You know, you felt like you'd gone back. Yeah, and Larders. Yeah, Larders. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was all still residual from the communist era. Yeah. And I didn't clock that until now. Like when I talk to people about it, they're like, Yeah, if you break it down, like, yeah, her whole life was You've got hide things for you. You can't even listen to radio like like uh, that's not the three stations that it had in it. Yeah. So if they wanted to listen to Beatles or whatever, that's naughty for them. They're like hiding yeah. under, you know, like hide, you can't talk about things in public. So there's no wonder that there was suddenly all this like control and rules within my household mm. because that's how she was raised. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And then my dad, he's coming from Kurdistan, which is like a whole next. Do you know what I mean? Whoa. Northern Iraq, where they didn't even have their own own country at the time. Because of Saddam, you know, like... Yeah, I mean, I don't know a lot about the details yeah, on this. Break most it down. people don't, man. Yeah, break like, it down. Like, shout out all the Kurdish people out there, yeah? Free Kurdistan. Like, let's get our country back. Because that's something I'm learning as I get older. Mm. Because let me break it down even before then. Where yeah. I'm from in Cheserton mm-hmm. is a very working class white uh, area, right? And you had a few people from a different culture, but not too many, certainly no Kurdish people. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. So at school, like my name is, my full name is Alan Mohammed Kamar Arif Mustafa, yeah? But at school, I was Alan. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I wanted it that way. Yeah. Like yeah. I was even embarrassed if people were coming around and my mum's cooking shit. You know, like I'm like, no, no, it's all right. There's pizza in the freezer. You know, like, it's, right. it, was, like it, it was a mad uh, identity crisis in a way. You know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. And it wasn't until I got older and started going to college and meeting people from West London and all these people mm. from different cultures that it was a good thing. They're like, oh, right, you're yeah. Kurdish, that's sick. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I never totally. embraced that. And and even, even as a younger, you don't give a fuck about your parents anyway. Like, my dad's yeah. trying to put me on to the history of it. And first of all, the history is complicated. Mm. So, so even for a kid to grasp that, it, it, it wasn't attractive, you know. And, and something your parents are telling you, I just want to hang around with my friends. So, so, yeah. so now I'm making up for that, you know, like as mm. I get older, I, I, because so the history of that is um, the Kurdish people all had their own land in, in, in one part of the world where you now have uh, Iraq, Iran, Syria, mm-hmm. Turkey, I believe. And uh, when they made the maps, when you had that, the, uh, the French geyser and the English geyser, <laughs> 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 they went out there to make them, their maps, the, yeah, the colonizers, yeah. 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 They um, they created borders. So now you've got Iraqi Kurds, Iranian Kurds, Turkish Kurds, and Syrian Kurds yeah? mm. um, split into different countries. You know, yeah. years and years and years later, they've all got their own identities within these countries. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and none of these countries want them to have their their land back or to for them to 
uh, be proud of their own language and their own flag and all these mm. sort of things. And uh, in the era of Saddam Hussein, like my dad was a proper nationalist Kurd, like he'd be helping the Piaj Marga, which are the the freedom fighters uh, mm. of Kurdistan in Iraq. So uh, when in the 80s, when Saddam was in power and that, he was killing off all the Kurds and that. So my dad had to run away, you know, ended up here. And wow. so that's... There's a mad history there, yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. So wow. all of this stuff, you know, I say that to say this, so when you when you bring it back and I'm just fucking about and I'm this stupid little kid that's fucking about and not appreciating, yeah. like, what they've been through, they're fucking putting their hair out. Yeah. They're like, what's... You know what I mean? I've been through mad shit. This can't, kid can't even wipe his ass at the age of 18. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it's important to, to understand yeah. why people are the way they are, do you know what I mean? You know what? This is the framework. Mm. Because what's really interesting about what you just said there, and I think a lot of kids can relate to it. On this show, we have a lot of different age ranges and whatnot. And I think one thing that uh, that anyone can relate to is the identification crisis that, yeah. that, that you have as an artist. Yeah. But when you really trail it back, it's almost like, your example there is, is is quite a common. I think it's quite a common scenario, you know. Sure. Because all you want to do is buzz off with your mates and yeah. just have a good time. And For sure, exactly. It's completely doable, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It's yeah. only when you get older and you grow up a little yeah. bit into your own self, and you're like, oh, actually, you know what? Like, who am I? Why am yeah. I the way I am? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah Sometimes sure. I see my dad creep in, on, even on me, and I'm yeah. like, oh, man, what will my 21-year-old say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Darling, true. It's surreal, isn't it? Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. So then the creativity comes into play, and the next thing, you've yeah. got this, like, oh, wait a minute, so I can be this thing? It's, yeah. Some people have university. Yeah. Because when they finish off their schooling... You know, they're in intermediate schooling. They mm. go straight into yeah. college and they find new university mates and whatnot. Yeah, for sure. And that's where they uh, have their new identity. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and and I tried. I, I went to uni, but I didn't go in, innit? I just took the money. And there's another, <laughs> you know, mistake or whatever. But, yeah, like, yeah. around that time is where I met. So I went to uh, Thames Valley University in Ealing. So that was in West because of the people I'd met in college that was from West. Like, shout out. Aziz, Mansour, first and last, all these people that then introduced me to Hugo, Hugo Chegan, who plays DJ Beats. Hold tight, Hugo. He's yeah, been on the podcast. He's been on, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really, I must actually, because I know he's going to be watching, right? Yeah. That was one of my first live stream shows I've yeah, ever done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like with these pin microphones, Hugo, I love you, man. You really stayed strong, he man. Held it together. He yeah, held yeah. it together, because I know it ain't his thing. It was like, I knew this was a big deal, and it's like the mics were fucking going over with it. Yeah, that's he, my guy for that. For that reason, among many good people, he's quite a yeah. He's quite a private person as well, so he smashed it for that man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. everybody yeah. was like, yeah. yeah, the whole of your camera, like, yeah. is he? <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah, I've ever said to him like, yeah, do it, man, because it would be. I think it's you know like he's obviously not private when you know him. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. think it's like important for people to get to know mm. him. You know what I mean? And Beats by Nick, he's bad, bad boy Hard. producer. Oh man, you, yeah, you already know the history, man. History. That's what I'm saying. So he was already making beats. Like by then, we was into that. Like, so I'd finished my like squat party raving sort of stage, like pills and you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like all that sort of era. And then I was on just, that's when I really took it back and was on my 90s hip hop. You know what I mean? Like, and just, and all, it was just all hip hop, hip hop, hip hop for me. And obviously UK hip hop era and that. Like, it's all one and the same, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It just happens, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. And that's when I got introduced to him and he was making beats and I wanted to rap, but we kind of more, I guess, bonded over, like, the love of, like, The Office and Partridge and Peep Show and all these things, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, See? and smoking weed. So, like, I'd go around there and then we'd eventually... You know who that. people sleep on the most? Mm. Garth Marenghi. Oh, man, he's hard. And you know who was in The Office as well? <laughs> yeah, he was. He yeah, was yeah. the guy that was... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're not in Way of the Dragon. Into the Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, man, no, he's uh, sick. OGs, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, beats, for me, I mean, like... I think, I mean, first of all, hold on a minute. Alchemist on your podcast, hold tight. Oh, man, yeah, fucking hell, yeah. If you're going to epitomise a hero, choose. Yeah, 100. That's what I mean. That was a mad moment, man, for sure, yeah. For anyone out there, chat and shit podcast, me and Hugo, got mm. Alchemist on. We just our new best mate, no big deal. So, yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just a vibe, just minor. Yeah. Right. But for real, like, 
But that's what I'm saying. Through all the stuff I've done, someone halfway across the world who I fucking look up to mm. has seen it and gone, boom, like on whatever, I don't know, Twitter or whatever, yeah. like, you know, love what you guys are doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, are you mad? Like, Th that I'm fucking hell, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, so shit like that wouldn't have happened without, if we take it back, everything mm. we're talking about. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I had Jordan from Razor Kicks on there, right? Yeah, and he shout told out Jordan, man. He's a good guy, Jordan, yeah. yeah. You could people's... <laughs> He told me the story about how he, he got a, a Farrah Monch on, on a record. Bruh. And he just blows my mind, you know what I mean? Like, all it takes is a tweet. Yeah. All it takes yeah. is a repost. All it yeah. takes is somebody just to say, yeah, they actually, I love thing. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know... But be that's why your ego can't get involved, because before I would have been like, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to message them. No, I'm not going to... You yeah. know what I mean? Like, But once you get past that, you can connect. Is that you know ego? Saying? Um... I think it's, you're right. I think it, a little bit is because you're, it's insecurity is what it is. You know that what I mean? Comes, that's from an ego place. Hundred percent. Yeah. Because and, and especially it? before, no one would ever rate each other. No one would bread each. That was a mm, thing, wasn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. a thing. Like, oh, don't beg it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That, but that's and a very UK thing too. Really UK <laughs> thing, man. Hundred percent. And even, even like just not going for things. Nah, fuck that. Nah, yeah. fuck that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, nah, no. Nah, people might think this. People might think. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. even when we first started, people do nothing on YouTube. We just like fucking about as webisodes. The first thing I said is, I don't know, man, because people ain't going to take my rap shit seriously. You know what I mean? Because it was all about an image and what I thought. You know, yeah. there is no image there. When you you didn't want it to, you didn't want, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't want it to go monkeys. Yeah. You yeah, wanted yeah. it to be like, I'm the rapper, then I'm That's right. Thing. I always say that. Yeah, you're not performing monkey. Yeah, exactly yeah. that. No, yeah. it's in like the band, the monkeys, you know. Okay. <laughs> they had that show, right? They had the, they yeah, had yeah, the, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, they had yeah. the show, then they had the, 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 the yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so at that point with Beats mm. and you guys just establishing like friendship, what? so you were just into hip hop? That was just Yeah, the thing. yeah, that was it, man. It was just like, I guess these guys called First and Last took me around his studio and I'm thinking, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know who's going to be. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. It's just going to be music. <laughs> Turn up, like, record my little bar and that and then um, end up just like just staying and smoking a bit of weed with him and just like fucking about and and it turns out he used to do pirate radio back in the day so we're sharing stories about that and yeah were you into the office yeah no i'm into the office we're watching it you know rewinding parts redoing it and it's when camera phones uh like first came out innit? Yeah, yeah yeah so um we were just like just filming each other just for jokes like yeah, yeah. just pretending to be these mad musicians or just the mad a and r or yeah. something you know what i mean yeah, literally yeah, yeah, yeah. just so we can watch it back and smoke a joint and laugh at it yeah yeah like, totally. that's it because like, you're editing it yourself as well and that can be quite it's, funny no not even that bro just literally just pressing play again and watching it <laughs> and being like ah that's jokes delete you know sounds what I mean? like one of my podcasts <laughs> 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 that's just me warming up yeah. on my own <laughs> that's me on my own here yeah. <laughs> um dude you do, though, however, there is this mental process that... Because when you're doing it for a laugh and you're just getting high and just, you know, mm. ah, look, that's funny, then it, some people just do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, it's... That's why that name, Steve thought of the name. Like, got to yeah. give credit to Steve because when we was... Like, when we was breaking it down, it's like all these things we used to do. Like, we used to, like, get a little draw, go pirate radio... Mm. You know, a couple heads are listening, mm. you know, mm. whatever, might go on a little brew race, whatever little thing, mm. but at the end of the day, nothing really happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and that's what people just do nothing is about, mm. isn't it? It's the self importance of that world for you, yeah. but outside of it, nothing's really happening. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, You're not yeah. really going anywhere with it. It's just there. It's an irony, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. But that's also the beauty of it. Yeah. Because you're not chasing anything. It's just, it's purely for the process. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? And and those characters don't learn that till till the end. Yeah, you know? I was there from the jump on the early early episodes. Big shout, out James Russian. I know you're watching. Yeah, dear friend of Man mine. Man like Russian. Yeah, yeah. Hold tight, James. <laughs> because because James James is a very established producer, prodigy, Bibi Clyro. Well, so wow. we, but we were in the studio and it became our new thing. Mm. We would wait until we would because this was on there. YouTube. Or, or yeah, was this something. was YouTube mm. time. Mm. This was, and it was proper. I think there must have been nothing more than 20 minutes long. Oh, bad. It's 12, 8 minutes long. Yeah. But we'd be watching, waiting for the next one to come on. It'd be like you guys, what you and Hugo used to do in the studio, yeah. waiting for Office. Office, or, yeah, yeah. We yeah. were like that with yours. And we were like, oh, Crazy. this is... Are they serious? Yeah. But it's it's actually funny. It's, it's like, so we want more. Yeah. We're waiting for the next one to come. And then we just wait until these... <laughs> 
wormholes. I mean, just the one way. I mean, listen. I'm now gonna be. I'm gonna be that guy now. <laughs> like the one where you're doing the exercising for the music video. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm that guy. You know that it happened. You were so. It was so relative. It was so true to. Um, to our culture. Yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. And that's how it started. It was people like you lot watching it. It was just musicians watching it. Because mm. when we first started, we, again, like, there was no, um, oh, we're going to do this and blow and everyone's going to watch it. No, it was like, mm. we're just going to do it for our friends. Like, yeah. this is a bit like, we just had a Facebook, our personal Facebook. <laughs> that's it, you know what I mean? Mm. And uh, it's when YouTube was still, um, at the time, it wasn't even like, original pieces of music it would be like ripped bits of music mm -hmm. it'd be a cat spinning on a chair mm -hmm. do you know what i'm saying like, and a few little heads doing like you know like maybe like shadrach and amandem and shit like that back yeah. there. um and it was one of them ones where it actually started because me everyone is hugo's friend so steve asim who plays your body g um like they were both Hugo's friends. Like Hugo grew up with Steven and mm. uh, Asim was like a rapper that Hugo used to work with. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So he is the glue. He, he's the like the middle person that like connected us all together. And that's what I'm saying about I didn't really have people like that around me mm. to, you know, because I never wanted to be an actor or anything yeah. like that. And that sort of like, I'll oh, just try things. Fuck it. Doesn't matter. That mm. sort of attitude I never had. It was so it's. This is all them lot. Do you know what I mean? It's all them lot. Like I don't want to put you into like any hot water here. It mm -hmm. could get a bit spicy, but it's not intention. Would you say because Hugo, um, like you say, he's a he's a glue. Mm. He's the glue to this this world, mm -hmm. and you come from this world, and that this it was almost like an inauguration mm. to a whole new. Like yeah. people would with university and like this. Yeah, yeah, thing, for sure. You know? Yeah, yeah, it was a different new stage in it's my like life. Next stage. Yeah, where where you just didn't care what people thought as much yeah. anymore and stuff like that. And but what happened to what happened to the old, the old Sipa? Did it was it a case that I mean, was, the whole time again, Marcus and now? See, I mean, like you've got your yeah. you've got your bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. Know, these, and Kieran did day one as well. You've got your physicals, man. you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, and everyone's yeah. from the jump. But yeah. but <clears throat> what I mean is like, did you feel? Was there a turbulent moment where you made that transition and you knew that there was going to be negative or positive mm. energies that were in your life that it was just going to change forever? Did, you knew that it was uh, that I didn't know it was going to change forever, but I knew that um, I needed to... Um, not even just people, but cut off certain mind frame and mm. way of thinking. Uh, you know what I mean? Because people just naturally grow apart anyway. Yeah. Like... Where I'm from, yeah, like in the sort of, let's say, golden era when you're younger and teenagers, mm. yeah, everyone was either an MC or a DJ or a graffer, it was creative. And the, mm. But then it stops and then it's like people either go this way or they get a job, become a builder, or what, you know what I mean? Mm, 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 but mm. there was no other creative outlet sort of thing. Uh, yeah. Like I even remember that there'd be like one or two heads, you know, and, and you'd be holding on to that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But they've got their other shit to do. Yeah. So it's like, when I met these lot, I was like, this is sick. This is this is something I want to be doing. I didn't even know that I wanted to be doing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, Because I used to fuck around yeah, anyway. Yeah. Like, I was always that guy. Yeah. But I just never had an outlet for it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, like, I guess subconsciously that happened. But it wasn't like I sat there and was like, oh, fuck these lot. And these no. are sick. <laughs> you know no, no, I mean? no. Yeah, yeah. Although there are people out there that do do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know who you are. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. And I'm sure there's people out there that aren't happy for me. You know, that's, that's how yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> mm. You can't Whoa, please. Whoa, son. Yeah. Haters. <laughs> yeah. you, can't, you can't please them or where yeah. you put me. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're, and this... The, when you're in that place, it, it really does feel like it, it's it's everything you ever wanted. But what people mm. don't see is up to that point, you are completely and utterly winging it. Yeah, you yeah. ain't got a clue what the fuck you're going to do. Hundred percent. And then this thing and, just happens. And one thing that I learned from everything I've been through as well is that we weren't. It's not like like these days. A lot of kids are like, yeah, oh, this is an earner. We got to do this. If we do this, then I'll earn this. Piece. You know what mm. I mean? It weren't that at mm -hmm. all. It weren't like. Oh, we're gonna be fake like fuck that, and that was the good thing that I learned through through graph, through hip hop and stuff like that. Was that uh, to keep you grounded? That that mentality of work great, yeah, work great, and also like you're not just doing this for this. You're not doing it for the fact. You're not doing it for something to come back out of it. Mm. You're doing it because it feels good. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And you've got to care about it. The more yeah, you right. care about it, the more of, the more does come back from it. Mm. The more you care about it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. so that's what I'm saying. Like when. 
Uh, Hugo said to me, oh, my friend Steve, I'd never met before, is, uh, he's doing, you know, he went uni, Steve, and mm-hmm. he's travelling in Thailand, uh, do you want to go out there? You know, and I'm still of the mind state of, like, what if I can't get any bud out there? What, it's too far from, you know, like, yeah. it's, it's not open-minded at all, yeah? And I'm 19, no, I'm like 22, you know what I mean? At this yeah, yeah. yeah this you know, like, about right. very, like, just where I'm from, and that's mm-hmm. it. And uh, went out there, met Steve, we connected straight away through comedy as well. That's and we so end up just, sick. like, kind of, fucking about and you know terrorizing people on the beach in the sense of like um pretending we're on pills and going up to hippies and you know and they're like it's all good man and that's where his steve's character came from do you know what i mean uh, and it, like that that and that that wasn't his yeah. name wasn't even steve's then it was just we were just all talking like that yeah because that's like how i used to sort of talk like where i'm from and that and they started talking and we used to just fuck about with these voices yeah. And then Steve, at the end of the trip, was like, oh, we should do something with this because he's more, like, academic. Like, he, you know, studied English writing at uni and stuff like that. Yeah, script writes and everything. Yeah, exactly. That wasn't something that was in our, even, not even in our, like, it just wasn't even in our mind that you could do that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and... uh, and then when he said that, I even remember thinking, yeah, but no one really does anything, do they? Mm. Like, everyone just talk, you don't just you can't just yeah. what film something and people watch it. Nah, do you know what I mean? Mm. And then we went back home, and then uh, Asim, who plays your buddy, he had a little Canon Seven D. It's like when people first started filming like little hood videos. You know what I mean? <laughs> Another one. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. It looks like a normal. They only like, last photo like 15, You can only film like fifteen minutes. Yeah, so yeah. Like and it looked like a normal photo camera. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, well, you can't film on that. You know, like we were clueless. Yeah. And then so luckily, you know, he had that. So he so he was the cameraman at first. You know, him and Ben from Ben Bullion, uh, from Bullion, sorry. Um, them two were just our friends that had a camera. Right. And, wow. and that's weird, okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Because he yeah. thought the same thing. He was like, no, I don't want to be in front of a camera. I'm a rapper. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I want people to take me seriously. Who asked him? Yeah, he, he used to spit. He was Paradox. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, he used to spit back in the day. My mind is blown. Yeah, yeah. No, he's a, he's a sick rapper, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Everyone's yeah. looking at me like, yeah, you didn't know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I think he's back at it, man. Knowledge. Like a crack at it. Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to Asimov. Yeah, so that's that's kind of where that all started, and and then we basically just started filming it because we just wanted to post it on our little Facebook page, like yeah. our own pages, and if, see if our friends liked it or whatever. Yeah. And that's my point is that the next stage from that was people like you. Is it was it was people that were kind of in the music world. Mm. It doesn't have to be the garage world. Yeah, just the music world because they could all relate to it. Mm. They could all relate to trying to make it things going wrong the fucking idiots that you meet along the way do you know what i mean yeah. and that's the first messages we started getting was like uh pro green back then as well and yeah. like, how are these people oh it must be speaking it's shared by people that understand the world do you know what i mean yeah. that was the first stage spinal because, tap isn't it y- yeah i mean it's that was banter. a big inspiration as yeah. well do you know what i mean yeah it's the banter that, that's within it, it's like a it's like a institution yeah it's yeah like, for sure it's this thing where it's like oh yeah like, actually i used yeah, to do that yeah <laughs> and, like, and, and it's like we understand this they yeah. might not understand it but we understand it yeah. that sort of thing so that's why it was we never thought it could go past that yeah because it's such a small world do you yeah, know what yeah, i mean yeah. but then it became musicians that weren't part of that world you know then, then it became yeah like pro green and lily allen clocked it yeah yeah and lily allen tweeted it and we had like you know you got like uh, things that go viral overnight. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. yeah. Our, our first thing was that it took three years to get like 20,000 views. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then Lily Allen posted, tweeted it and then it got 20,000 views in one day. Yeah, yeah. That's when we first, the first ever glimpse of the power of, you know, the word that can be put out there. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. Mm. Um, but it comes from a passion place, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's the best thing. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Like, because then if it has you, its own momentum. You, exactly, yeah. And 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 it doesn't. And if it doesn't get the moment, momentum, it doesn't matter. You've already won because mm. you've put, you've already put everything you can into it, and got what you need out of it. Do you know what I'm saying? But what I admire about you guys the most, and this is only from a, which I think is the deepest lineage that that when we talk about the DNA of the show and how it relates to all of our circumstances, the stuff that we grew up on, the kind of things that go on in the music industry, the the the, the underpinning amount of you could you could feel the you could kind of feel the graft the work rate within you guys and you could tell that it was love yeah and that you probably would have just kept on going anyway yeah 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 exactly yeah i mean we took us a while but <laughs> yeah. we we done like uh maybe like five webisodes in like four years but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's because everyone's got you've got things that you're getting a bit older so you need to pay bills you're doing yeah. this you've you got to be here so it's, it's all favors awesome. it's all for free yeah but 
exactly that. Like, it was all because we just wanted to be there. Yeah. Like, we were like, yeah, sick. I can't wait till once a month linking up with these lot. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Filming all day and then Asim having to go through fucking 12 hours of footage and get eight minutes of gold out of it because most of it's shit. That shit isn't easy, neither. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, man. That, that's what I mean. It's, it's all in the edit. Like, shout out Asim. Yeah, hold tight. Hold yeah. tight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tour de Force and, uh, man... What a force it became! It's fucking bonkers. <laughs> it's just bonkers. It's something that you know we'd watch from the beginning for its inception, mm. and then next thing it's like, you, know, you, you, you guys are you're doing sound system shows. Yeah, you're going out as corrupt yeah. FM, and there was episodes that lent to that mm. fact. It was almost like uh, art becoming reality. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Actually, it was. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's art imitating life. Hundred percent, because. Like I said, I started off wanting to just be like originally an MC. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, like shout out Reich. He was like this kid at my school that took me onto my first pirate radio station. Which I'm was, sorry, Reich. Yeah, shout out Reich, man. X Flow used to be called. Shout out Dreamer as well. Um, and that was, yeah, it was Rampage FM. And I wanted to spit on, like, Reich is a bit younger than me. So, like, Grime was just first starting, like, mm. real early, like, um, you know, like, Eskimo and stuff, you know, and, yeah. and even like a lot of it was just a dark side garage, you know what I mean? But like, I wanted to be like a John Vase MC. Mm. There's no John Vase DJ for me. So I went down there. My first set was me putting a DJ Hype CD on and just spitting over it for an hour. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then that closed down that station. And then Rice started from his, his flat in Kingston. He started Corrupt FM. So Corrupt FM was a real thing. It was a real thing? Yeah, back then. Like I'm saying, we're rewinding now, way before me wanting to rap and be into hip hop and stuff like that. But then, like around the era that I was going to squat parties, just, just after that maybe, or just before that, I can't remember, but that's, Corrupt Fame was a real station, it was his station. Mad. And I used to kind of run it with him, be there every day. And it was sick because it was like the first yeah. time you had a voice and people are listening. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, even if it's whatever, like Precursor our podcast, that was like, mm. that was your only way of getting the realest proper music. And, it and it's, the first, it's the first time you had uh, power as a teenager. Yeah. Like with Graph as well, yeah. The first, the, you know, kids that have no control over everything, the first time they have their own freedom and control, yeah. I'm going to go right on this wall and I can do it on my time and, and yeah, no one's right. telling me no. And it's the first time that I'm like, I can I can be here. Yeah. I don't have to be. I, I don't have to like be on this big radio station and all this. Like I can be here and people are gonna listen. Yeah. Like whether they like it yeah. or not, because it's on. Like whether I'm shit or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you might get a text of some of your schoolmates. Like, oh yes. Like, it's a it, it's a cheap to enter scene, mm. and it's really mm -hmm. easy as long as you you can actually. All you need your subs. Yeah. I mean? All you yeah. need your subs. All you need is your mouth. All you need is your spray can a little and, bit of draw yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I mean yeah. It, just, it just reverts back to the whole punk ethos and the thing that yeah, we yeah, love yeah, about 100. that yeah 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 as I get older I clock that I'm yeah. like because obviously that wasn't my era and, and I know you're into that as well but yeah. especially yeah that and and, and and then it then it went a bit slick but then you had grime and that was it again mm. do you know what I'm saying that that just changed the whole yeah which made uh I mean, they were also on the crest of like they were onto tape packs, mm. but you'd get a DVD in with it. Yeah, yeah. Shout yeah, out Risky Roads, man. Like tight, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so these sorts of things were slowly, uh, they were moving forward with technology, mm. and that's one thing grime holds its flag. And to. they didn't see, see with 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 us and with garage and stuff like that. It was. Um, having to get a vinyl that was made by an actual proper producer, mm. yeah. And then grime was the first time where a kid could just sit in front of a computer, not a musical bone in his body, Fruity Loops not on. a technical bone in his body, yeah. get free sounds, bang it out, don't mix it, I've got sound to spit over, that's my beat and these are my lyrics. Best ever. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get better than that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, and, that. But that's why a lot of heads would be like, oh, at first, yeah. like the older heads, I oh, don't really get grime because it sounds all tinny, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's the beauty of it. That's like yeah. punk, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's punk. Like when punk first came out and it was all like, there was more like, Bigger produce rock and roll and yeah. rock and stuff, and yeah. then suddenly he's what this guy that can't even sing over yeah. a fucking thing. Yeah, because it's Recy the energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resets itself, yeah. and if the old guard doesn't get it, yeah, then they go. Yeah, and then comes a new thing. And it's the same with the straight letter thing we were talking about earlier. You know, stripping it back. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? From all these funky styles yeah, yeah, in New York, stripping it back. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Fashion and trends, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for sure, for sure, man. Comes in waves. Yeah. So what we got now here particularly with your podcast, this podcast, is we've got this new form of information yeah. that's been passed along. Of course, we have the radio, pirate radios, but now they're digital. Yeah. These things are like all online and things are all moving on. Yeah. I think what you guys were, the, and this is just 
this is a big up. Mm -hmm. You guys are like the last of the people to signal of an era that the our generation mm. will look back on and be like, yeah, it was like that. You know, like Spinal Tap. Yeah, a lot of those old guards they look at Spinal Tap in a rock and roll kind of way. It was like it that. It was like, yeah, yeah, you're right, man. And like, and at the time we didn't know we was doing. It. At the time, it didn't feel like history because it was like fucking seven years ago. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then as you're doing, you're like, right, because history's short and that shit comes in shorter chunks now. Yeah, like, do you remember like parents would be like, the seventies were like this. You wouldn't say the 2000s were like this. Yeah, the There's so many different times of the noughties. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, 03 was so different to 06 and 09. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, but similarly to Pirate Radio mm. and the small transfer of, okay, now YouTube, now... Da, 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 it's all technology. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Technology started moving faster, yeah. so you have to keep up with it. Yeah. But you have to, man. Like, yeah. You know, like I'm not sitting here going, oh, it's better when you had to go around with records and that. Like, yeah, there's a beauty in that as well. Yeah. But there's also a beauty in now and, and what you can get, everything's at your fingertips. Yeah. You know, there's there's two arguments. Is that it, it was romantic before, the fact that you had to fucking even like draw, like just fucking, oh, sick, I've got a mission to this end, wait around when you get it, it's oh, so much more special. Do you <laughs> yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Same with a tape, same with a vinyl or whatever, innit? But also, isn't it brilliant that you can fucking just order your bud online or uh, go on yeah. Spotify and listen to whatever you want? Yeah, yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? True. And people take that, that thing as a... He's always quick to criticise. Yeah, exactly, oh, exactly. And that's how you get old and stale because yeah. you don't want to move with the times. Not about that, boy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, I, I appreciate it. I, I, you know, at the same time, I, I when someone like a youth, like, oh, fuck that, it was shit. No, no, you've got to appreciate where things come from. Mm. And, that. and I love that, I love that I'm from an era where I grew up when it was just pay phones. And yeah. if, if matey ain't where you said you was going to yeah. link, you got to check every park outside every yeah, shop, every, yeah, every high street. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Knock it out. It's thingy in, please, pretending you're not stoned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I love that. Oh, he's but, not here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a <laughs> lot of miles you got to walk, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And if you owe someone peeing that, you're not just jumping in an Uber, you've got to fucking go that way, you see what it is? <laughs> yeah. But that's hectic. Yeah, yeah. But you know, so there's a beauty in it all, do you know what I mean? That's right. Yeah. And there's certain things you can take away from just going back again to the pirate era yeah. and um, the sound system era because you yeah. guys went and did festival I saw oh, yeah. you guys as like a I saw you guys like a sound system and I know mm -hmm. that might be controversial to some of the older heads that watch and you know that are into the sound systems but no man I, you gotta you gotta rate it yeah man <laughs> I, I, no but I do feel I do feel joking, yeah, I yeah. do feel though that when you guys came on the set yeah. of a lot of fest it was almost like takeover time mm -hmm. and that definitely is a heart back to You've got the new technology now, and mm -hmm. then you've got this. Mm -hmm. You've got the roots in which you came up through, yep. which is YouTube, but it's from a pirate era. And it's all these kind of... I it's like thought a... of it. Like, that's mad, yeah. And do you know what? You know, I'm being serious when I say you can't hate on it in the sense of... I mean, you could do what you want, but... <laughs> <laughs> in, <laughs> Subscribe, comment yeah. below. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely do that. <laughs> yeah. No, but in the sense of... Um, look, if we was like some actors who had never been in that world... We're from, I don't know, whatever, some next ends mm. and that, a uh, different class, and then they're trying to do that, then, yeah, you'd be like, fucking hell, like, we worked our asses off to get here. But I've worked my ass off to be in the music thing way before, do you know what I'm yeah. saying? I just switched up my lane. They're the same muscle you're performing, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just switched up my lane. And now, you know, I'm blessed to be able to... And we do respect that as well. We respect the fact that we get to be doing these festivals, these raves and stuff like that, uh... Uh, you know, gigs or whatever, because this is something we always wanted. That was our dream when we was younger. Do you know what I'm saying? Just went the other way around we to get it. To, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and in a way, I'm happy because now I take, I don't take life as seriously as. But when you're a teenager, you, it's all about mm. your, your, how people perceive you and that. Like now, it's like I get to do it and have fun with my best friends. Like I'm so blessed. Like there's no, there's no pretense. There's no best mark. Ever. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, you're pretending to be another person, but you know what I mean? As, in a way, you're just, you're more free than ever. Who doesn't? Who yeah, doesn't? Exactly. We've all got a mask. Yeah, come on. Honestly. We all kiss our mum on the cheek. I mean, we all wank. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I've I don't. Never no, I don't in my work, life. to be fair. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like touching my own dick. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Too veiny. <laughs> <laughs> I love mine. <laughs> Same. I'll type, I'll type Marcus. <laughs> um, I'm a bit off track, though. Yeah. Uh, it's a roundabout sort of way and you made it there. Mm -hmm, you got mm -hmm. to this place and it's... um. No, and I, don't get me wrong, I really appreciate it. Like, every single day I'm just like... I'm so lucky. Mm -hmm. 
He's because, always fantastic, man. You know, like you could say, you know, oh, but you, you work. You, no, but there's loads of talented people. There's, there's millions of talented people. I grew up with so many, yeah. innit? But to be where you are, it's fucking lucky, man. Yeah. You've, you've won a race and you've got to fucking appreciate that and hold yeah, on to yeah, that, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And never the, just, you know, never take it for granted, I man. I think it humbles you, doesn't it? Like when you, When you've really gone that distance and yeah. you've, you've had to find different way, other ways of thinking things through. Yeah, for sure. And like, yeah. I don't know I could do that. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter because I've done it and I'm, look, I'm kind yeah. of where I wanted to be. Yeah, for sure. Like, if you told me when I was trying to be a real serious MC, oh, you could be a comedian. Oh, fuck that. No, 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 that's that's naked. You know, like all this. Yeah, it's like, yeah. no, man, like, that's a lie because I've always been fucking about and mm. love jokes and comedy, you know, in the Find it in your doors. soul, innit? Yeah, it's exactly. Got... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, on that, uh, to so on that note then, mm. on that note, mm. uh, Hip hop, let's get into it. Mm. All right, so uh, beat producers, talk to me. What top top what? Top five beat producers. Top five. All right, cool. So it'd probably be uh, oh man, okay. So Alchemist would be in there. I'm not doing any order. Oh, do you know, yeah. Al would be in there. Um, Havoc. Ooh. Just because Ooh, like, for yeah, me, course. shook ones, hell on mm. earth, like they was. Under, underrated, soundtrack. he doesn't even get a mention as being a fucking producer. Yeah, man, but he was hard. Like, and, and the way he was making them back then with, mm. uh, you know, like using a tape player to record <laughs> shit and the fucking, the shook ones when he's using the... On, off the Dude. off the hob, you know what I'm saying? Like, explain to me, no, for them, explain to me. He sampled a hob, I swear, like to get that, to get the hi-hat. Because you know that is like the hardest... Yeah, I swear he did. That's I, like the hardest intro. Don't quote to... me on that, but I swear. Yeah, this is a hard <laughs> intro, isn't it? Even if it's just the romance of me thinking that. Let's just go with that. Yeah, I'm going yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in, I'm in. RZA. Oh! Like, I was a massive woo head, man. And like, even like, I was so deep, I was into like, all the offshoots, like Killer Army, Grave Sons diggers, of Man, Grave Diggers, yeah, 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 yeah. Something about Rizzo's production. Of a certain era as well, for yeah. me, anyway. But you, you can still mean? listen to it now, like... Oh, oh no, of course, Ooh. but I mean, he had a sound in a certain era is what I mean. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? The way he yeah. flipped the samples, like... Flipped them. Like, out of out of a musical tone, you know, like, not he didn't follow the rules. He's not even beat pattern. Mm, that's what I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Just little cut-offs of yeah. just ends of... Eight bars, it was yeah, just like, yeah, 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 he just yeah. did that in, and, and he got away with it. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Um, and then I'd say MF Doom. Oh, yeah. For me. Because I knew he was an MF Doom fan, yeah. weren't you? you used, Massive, yeah. Rest yeah. in peace, man. Well, rest like, in yeah. peace, MF Doom. That's, I mean, I put him in my top five yeah. uh, MCs as well. Like, uh, But like Mad Lib as well, you know, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I mean. Bang Dre in there. Yeah, I, I do love Dre, man. And my first yeah. ever album was Snoop Dogg Doggy Style. And yeah, me too. That G-Funk that Dre used to make was hard. Me but, too. It yeah, took me man. ages to find the chronic. I had to go to, had to, go to Outer Reaches of really? somewhere to find the yeah, record yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Import, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, the original chronic? Yeah, 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 first, yeah, 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 yeah. First version. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, the 90s is littered with some of the most prevalent pr production mm. that it's, it's all under one. Banner, mm, isn't it? Mm. The golden era. Yeah, man, yeah. And I, I hate putting it like that because I'm not I'm not one of them people that are like, oh, I just like, I only like Immortal Technique and Jedi Mind Tricks and hate Drake. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I like it. Like, you know what I mean? I was into just, just yeah. super dark lyrical shit yeah, before, yeah. but like, I love Drake now, isn't it? If I'm in yeah. a club, do you know what I'm saying? I'm like, in. Cool, yeah. Like, he's sick. You can't take that away from him. Um, so I like, I just love hip hop as a whole, but... That's what I fell in love with, that 90s mm. shit. 80s shit, that was too, I was too young for that. You know what I mean? I was even too young for the 90s shit, really. It took me but a while, it, it I had felt, to go back. It hit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you used to say Big Daddy Kane to me, I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you say Cool G, that's because in the 90s he was popping. Because and he popped, yeah, yeah, and he had that rebirth in the 90s, uh, you know what I mean? A new style. Underrated MCs. Oh, that's a good one. Um, mm. It's weird, yeah. I don't think this guy's underrated. I just want to open the conversation up. MF Doom, I think he's one of the illest lyricists of all time, yeah? But he never gets put... You know, people are like... Uh, they don't put him there. Uh, you know, Tupac, Biggie, Big L, you know, obviously I'm not taking anything mm -hmm. away from those. Like, they seem to be knowing what they're doing, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, think they've they've got quite a, I think they've got potential. Yeah, 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 I think, I think, yeah. No, but, um, but no one mentions Doom. But yeah. I don't know if that's because he's underrated. I think that it's like more of... Um, like, I know loads of guys that are more of, like, a different world of, like, they might know about, you know, like, 
like UK road rap type brands. Yeah. That, like, you, like, uh, they'll be into Jada, Styles and shit like that, innit? They might listen mm. to Doom and be like, this shit's mad, I don't really get it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a bit jazz. Do you know what I mean? Like, the way he spits. So, maybe not underrated, definitely not underrated, but I guess not enough people know about him. Unsung. And, and misunderstood, maybe, Misunderstood. Yeah. You know why it is? Because he was so well-rounded. He had the graphic, the production, he had the DJ, he had mm. the MC. He became this, like, cottage institution mm. that just lived and people just always relied on him. Yeah, and yeah, then when yeah, he's yeah, gone, yeah. you're right. That's how I felt as well. I was like, "Fuck!" I always just thought, "That's it," you know. Uh, I maybe took him for granted. Yeah, is a good word. Do yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. For Not that he cared, but <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 he was kicking himself. Why yeah. oh, you listen to me every day? You said you loved me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I do feel. I also feel like he loved his fans as well. Yeah, right? for sure, because he was a fan. For sure, that's for sure. the other thing. And I hate people that are like, "Oh no," but he snaked it because he doesn't come out to some of his gigs. So fucking what? He's the mm. villain, man. Mm. Get over it. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Listen to him on headphones. Get over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's he's built for the headphone shit, man. He's not doing no backflips. Nah, stage, he's not. He's doing his... Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. He's not throwing dinghies out on the crowd and <laughs> yeah. you know, wedding right. cakes. <laughs> phone party in Super <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> MF doing phone party at Oceana. <laughs> I'll definitely go. Yeah, 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 I'd go. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got three, right? I've got mm. eight off the assassin, who's a fucking... Who the fuck's that? He's a... Beast. I'm going to send you some news. Batman. You're right, because I don't even know who's... Jest. Oh, underrated. Underrated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. But again... Chester P. But although Chester P does get flowers... No, he does. He does. But, that, but what I think what he means... In the, in the, he's one of your... Only within that world. Only within that world. Yeah. Hard. Chester hard, P yeah. is hard. No, you're right. Jest was my favourite for a long time, yeah. man. When I was younger and I first... Before I knew about UK Hip Hop mm. and uh, I was only into American stuff yeah. and... I don't know, obviously maybe I'm getting it a bit later because I'm out in bumpkin land, do you know what I mean? And yeah. then suddenly I'm like, wow, Skinny Man, Jest, Kalash, all these people, like, how have I not known about mm. them? Uh, and yeah, I just, I was I was obsessed with Jest, man. He, yeah, he's hard. Um, I don't know if I call him underrated because uh, anyone that listens to him would know how sick he is. But maybe and how not, rated he is, yeah. But yeah, but maybe it's only within that world and, and not enough yeah. people outside of the world know That's that. That's what I think. Of... Whereas people like Skinny and Kalash, there was a broader world that yeah. understood about that as well. He kind of, he set the seed. He put the seed in. He was like, yo, like, this is British backpacker. In mm -hmm. fact, I would go as far as he kept it going to the point where the streets became the streets. And mm -hmm. I feel like, mm -hmm. yo, Jess should have been right behind Mike mm -hmm. Skinner. Mm, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. It's just, um, English, we are more of a naturally dance music led, either, either the Jamaican culture influence, mm. which is the sound system, that like dance or reggae, which is deeply installed in British culture, Big time, yeah. or dance music. Yeah. Like rap was always a thing that came. That was an import. Yeah, that yeah. was an import, exactly. Yeah. So... And where it was coming out when there was a lot of dance music and stuff like that, I feel like that's why. And then Grime came out, which was an offshoot of dance music. You know what I mean? It's kind of got slept on a little bit. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's mm. why it was like, you're either into UK pop or you're into like fucking jungle and grime and shit like mm. that. You know, and then there was a few people that like me that would be in, dip my toes in both. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? that's right. But it, that was the thing, wasn't it? It was an identity thing. Like if you was into hip hop yeah. and... And, and smoking and backpacking, going to these nights, you, you might not be into that shit. You might think no. grime's a bit too simple and not lyrical enough. Do you know what I mean? That's right. And I understood that. You know, I understood both in that yeah. sense. Because I'd been there and been like, oh, but, there's, you know, if you're just that, what he's saying, you know what I mean? But then understanding, oh, but it's the energy of these youths. Do you know what I mean? Which goes back to the punk. Mm, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of punk bands back in the day, they didn't actually have good production. Mm. No, like, no, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Just get in a garage and do it. Yeah, but you might like it because of the feel and what you felt at the time. Yeah. Not if you broke it down to a real music man and they listen to it and you're like, and you're playing it to them thinking, it doesn't sound as good as I'd imagined when they hear it. Mm. <laughs> like, the mix is terrible <laughs> on this. Yeah. Yeah. I've just been listening to this fucking, I don't know, <laughs> yeah. higher, I don't know, Dr. Dre produced. Yeah, 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 exactly. And all yeah, of a yeah. sudden I'm listening to. This really tinny, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 hundred, yeah, exactly. Um, one more person I'd like to just flag up, if I may, Faramonch. Definitely underrated, but he's like, He's like a lot of MC's favourite MC, isn't it? Black yeah. Fort. Oh. Same sort of thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you asked a lot of rappers, it's them bad. Do you know what I mean? But why don't they bring them up? What is it about yeah. it? Is it because of the dependent... Again, back to the MF Doom thing. It's yeah. the dependent... It's the... 
familiarity of like, oh, they're always going to be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that goes without saying, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. And there's, which I, this is my, again, I might just be spouting shit, but also a story is what makes a good rapper as well. Mm. Someone you remember and always putting your things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like their story, their life. You know, when you think about, with that, you know, when you think about Biggie, you know his whole story and his whole Mm. life. When you think about Tupac, you know, you know what I mean? It's not just the lyrics. Whereas their their man are just just the lyrics and they don't re- it's not you know what I mean? Like, not think yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty Cent, exactly, yeah. Yeah. No one's saying fifty cent is Eminem. can be one of the greatest of all time, but no one's saying you know what I mean, no one's saying that like Black is actually a better lyricist. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Create like, the narrative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure, man. Eminem, exactly. He's an ill lyricist, but you also know he's got a mad story behind it. Someone once said to, about the comparative between Star Trek and uh, Star Wars and, mm. and the difference was really it it was shocking when they, when they said it. It's a program or something, but no, well, no, I don't know either, no, but I'm it's fucking great. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking great. It's like the difference between Star Trek and Star Wars is when you're in the Millennium Falcon, you mm. care about the people. Mm. Therefore, you don't want the ship to explode. Right. When you're on Star Trek, you don't fucking know any of them. <laughs> Just some mad bro pointy and side. The fucking bang. bullets fly. <laughs> yeah, spiky yeah. yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean, we're losing yeah, yeah. a captain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you care about these. That's people. true. Yeah, you have to care about them. Yeah, you know what I mean, you man. have to give a shit. And that's what grime is about as well. You yeah. know, like original grime was these mad superhero characters that all had their own thing. Yeah. Mental sometimes, like you know. Now when you think back at it, you're like, like some of my best MCs. Slightly offbeat, they've got their own pockets, yeah, yeah, they've yeah, got this yeah. mad personality, charisma. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, you, yeah. you buy into that and you, yeah, it's more than just the lyrics, man. It's more than the lyrics. Do you know what I mean? There was a part in my life where it was just the lyrics for me, mm. but then it became more than that. But that's as you come up, innit? Because mm. you have to, yeah. You have to almost do your homework. 100%, exactly. And you're like, and it's the first time you're hearing shit like that. Mm. You're like, oh my God, how are they putting these words together? And then there's this deeper meaning and mm. all that. You're like, you think you've changed the world in your mind. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's what keeps yeah. you going. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Need, so, uh, talking about the underrated rappers, let's scoot back to the prior conversation about producers. And, that, like, how are you... I mean, obviously, like, you got the podcast, and that that was already gaining momentum. How did you get Alchemist on the uh, on Yeah, the that's podcast? crazy. Because with that as well, that was our first series, so we never we never had a podcast out. Do you know what mm. I mean? So it worked one of them ones where people see that would want to come on. Do you know what mm, I'm saying? Mm. Like, so... With Alchemist, it was like maybe two years before that. I can't remember. Oh, someone must have just messaged me on Insta with a screenshot with Alchemist saying something like, I don't know, something like uh, Grindr, best MC in the galaxy or something like that. Like he hadn't tagged anyone or anything. What? And I was like, that's too specific not to be it. <laughs> <Obviously> <laughs> nothing. I, I don't think I'm getting that wrong. Let me, I was like, right. Like, so I went on his profile and there was a few tweets about Crux of Fem and shit. I was like, right, it's maybe about three years ago. So, yeah, so I just, I didn't feel no way about being a fanboy of Alchemist. No, no, so. no, no, and go. also, as someone in America, like, this is a very British thing. Like, yeah. I'm always baffed when someone across the seas knows about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. It's not like um, music's a bit easier to translate, but mm. with comedy, it's a bit different. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, like, so I just, I just tweeted, uh, I just, uh, what's it called? Inboxed him on Twitter. I was like, yo, this is. I was just like, fucking, that's crazy. How the, how the fuck do you know about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, yo, I've been knowing about this shit. And because he's like, he's super, he's, even if you don't see it in public, he's super clued up to like all different subcultures, isn't it? Like, so he's just on it. He has to be as a producer, mm-hmm. you know, like if you hear his little influences and that, it's like, he'll yeah. have like a little, even like the other day, I was listening to one of his tunes that had the, uh, you know, the super cat clash, yeah, uh, the yeah. sting clash. Like mm. he had a little thing like, me have a gun upon me or something like that from there. That's, that's mad niche. Yeah. Not in England because the dancehall culture is big here, but mm. I was like, rah, so he's obviously clocked onto all these things. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And um, I can't remember who, who put him on, but anyway, he said, next time I'm in England, um, like I'll holler you lot. Mm. Or like, yeah, or when we're... You know, that's really then, casual, you know? Yeah, like, but, holler, yeah. yeah, but that's usually bullshit, isn't it? That's usually like, yeah, 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 next time, cool. And then you just don't link up with anyone, do you know what I mean? Now, I can miss you, not time it is. You, and, know, uh, <laughs> you, do, you know what you've got to do. <laughs> no, no, but so about a year later, he he was in England for something. Ah. Maybe he was DJing for Eminem or some shit. Maybe it was like a tour thing. But he was uh, in Red Bull Studios, which is just in the South do mm. you know what I mean? And he messaged me. He was like, what are you doing? We're going to be at Red Bull Studios on this day. Come down. What happened to your head at that point? 
I was like, there's no way I'm going down on my own, man. Like, I was like, fuck, he called Hugo, like, you know what I mean? Like, shit, like, you got to come with me. He's like, of course I'm coming with you. You know, like, Hugo's a beat maker as well. Yeah, yeah. He's like, that's crazy. Oh, Kieran came as well. Kieran, like, hardly even knows who Alchemist is. Like, <laughs> like, he'll know the tunes, but you know he doesn't really know. Yeah, yeah. And then we came in, and like, Kieran's just sitting on the edge of one of the seats, just like, what's going on here? He doesn't really know. And, uh, and I'm like, yeah, we just, we just basically jammed there for a couple of hours with him. Mm. Like, he's making beats. He, he, he ended up just like showing us jokes videos on YouTube or whatever like he's smoking his big truncheons I'm smoking a little roll up and that <laughs> this is anxiety you don't, sm you don't smoke weed I don't anymore. smoke weed anymore no. nah nah so yeah which he was like surprised about as well and I was like nah 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 I was like yeah in England there's this thing called anxiety some people get yeah <laughs> he'd never heard of it yeah <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, it was sick. He was super down to earth guy, mm. like mind blown experience, and just. But it was just so normal at the same time. And what was it like conversating with him on on podcast? So then, so then, yeah. Obviously, a couple of years later, we you can check this out by the way. Yeah, chat and shit, shit podcast. Yeah, a couple of years later, we're still messaging every now and then, texting whatever. Mm. Um, if something comes out from each of us, little congrats right. or whatever, just light. And yeah. then when the podcast came out, I messaged him, and he's like, "Say no more." I was like, oh shit, that was easy, but it's lockdown, isn't it? Everyone was free. <laughs> yeah. And it's gonna be over Zoom. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, cool, I'll do it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a really good time to to try for it. And then he must have called me the next day and then we like he FaceTimed me the next day and was chatting about it. And then the day after that mm. we just did it. No, it was crazy. It was uh it was really mad to hear about his journey actually, because there's loads I didn't know about. Mm. You know, even the first time I met him, he goes, Of course I know about Pirate Radio. He's like, I was on the Soul Assassins tour. When I was just a young girl, when he I first came assassins. up, yeah, he was um, in, and, and they um, came to England, sorry, and, and they did pirate, uh, one of the fucking press junket, well, not pre you know press run thing, yeah, it was yeah. a pirate radio station. So he'd been on pirate radio back then. What was the name of his crew? Um, he was in, uh, he was part of Soul Assassins. But then he had like a little double act with this other uh, American guy who's like an actor now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't remember, but. But yeah, but he was Comment a rapper. Below. Alchemist was a rapper at first. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they, they, uh, there's things that I didn't know, innit? Yeah. So yeah, no, it's, it's a real crazy journey. And, and then going back to the MOP, um, sorry, the Mob Deep, well, MOP, yeah. the whole tight MOP, yeah, but yeah, Mob yeah. Deep, you know, yeah. he became Prodigy's like main producer. I'm saying he's got. He told a story about the fact that he's just jamming in like Havoc's basement, making a beat. Looks round, who comes in? Nas comes in, goes, "Who's beats that on a jam?" Normal <laughs> you know, like, day, normal, normal, normal. normal. That like like. Is fire. Uh, Bro, like, yeah, yeah. No, <coughs> thanks to him, man. Like, me and you go just two idiots chatting shit, but, you know. But it's a one in a million. It's these things. I mean, and hold tight, you being here as well. Thank you, brother. You know? Appreciate it. Yeah, because yeah. It, this, is, this is the gold that... I think it's the cement that makes, you know, connects the dots between podcasts and also... Yeah, for sure. For people to know, you know, just yeah, yeah, communication. Yeah, yeah man. Um, they probably wouldn't have got that information mm -hmm. in any other way. Yeah, if yeah, If it had yeah. not been for you talking to Alchemist the way you did. Yeah, man. Well... And again, yeah, going back maybe. to the pirate yeah. thing, mm. I think producers they have this um, tendency that, and I've said this before on podcasts, they're like the most regimented motherfuckers that know everything about anything. For real, <laughs> like he knew so much about everything, man. Like every every reference, he'd be like, yeah, yeah, cool, boom. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know half the shit he's talking about. I'm just uh, nodding along, right? Like, yeah, 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 sick. Like, <laughs> The problem, there's, I'm drinking, because they're, they're all like that natty wines and that, the natural mm. wines, and mm. I got into it as well. So I'm like, he's coming on, in ode of him, chill a little bottle, drinking it, end up getting through the whole thing. And then we basically spoke for three hours, but for the last hour and a half, my mic was unplugged, where I was just like sort of chatting shit, fucked and unplugged, <laughs> it didn't realise. Oh, no. So like, we, we only literally got an hour and a half, it was going to be a two-parter. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Like, we lost bear of it, but, you know. It it's happens. In the graveyard. Trust me, man. It yeah, happens yeah. to the best of us. It's, it's my, lives, it lives on within. Bro, here. my first hundred episodes, including the, the he hated, wasn't recording. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were just going back. It's just great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you got press record. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's someone transcribing it in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like some Flintstones dude that's at the back there. Um, nah, I had the fucking phone. You know, Marcus yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and and I'd lose like forty. Uh, first forty minutes were fine mm. on the phone, but then the phone doesn't like it, mm. and it will just shut off. Right. So I know that it's forty minutes. So on my first hundred episodes, as soon as it cuts off, it goes go to the fucking audio podcast. Oh really? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Alex one, I was really enjoying. 
I thought that was just a clever way of making people watch the video and audio. Yeah, that was... Yeah. I try, I played that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the truth, sick. The truth, I mean, you know, the, the numbers... I mean, but I, people do that on podcasts, anyway. Yeah. They just put a little clip, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, we, haven't even, we don't film ours, man. No. Yeah, yeah. But what, do you, how, what do you quantify as a season, as a series? Of, of a podcast? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> when we can't be fucked anymore we've got other <laughs> shit to do for a bit uh, which was 15 episodes for the first one and then 20 for this one They under people underestimate 15 15's a fucking lot man yeah man it's a lot of work yeah especially when you're like juggling other things in life do you know what I mean life stuff yeah, yeah. like people are like even with like people just do nothing like just do another series man just bang it out <laughs> so that shit takes about a year yeah and do you know what I'm saying and, and that's to make it well hopefully as good as it can be do you know what I mean can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you... Since you're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what well, I'm literally sure. what I'm here, yeah. yeah. Um, how much of um, People Just Do Nothing do you feel is owned by you? Mm -hmm. or, um, com compared to how much of it that is probably owned by the public? Like, do you, do you feel like often, which I think it comes in at any point in a career trajectory when you, you've got to this place where people love you so much they don't want it to move they don't want it to change mm. um but yet you it's on demand and you have to mm. it's supply isn't it like how much of it is owned by you and it is orchestrated by a calendar and yeah. how much of it is theirs i see what you mean like in a way you know anything you put out there is theirs you know in a because things mean different things for different people in different times of their lives. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. For us, it's like something we enjoy doing, we're fucking about. For someone, it might mean a lot more, you mm -hmm. know, because it was there for a part of their life or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, and I, know, I get the point you're trying to make, but you can't think like that because mm -hmm. then it starts getting in the way of the creative process, you know, like, how are people going to see this? Yeah. Like, how much do we need to put out there to make sure the demand... You have to just close yourself off from that and yeah. just try and, you know... Just act like it is just yours. Do you know what I mean? It's mad hard though because social media and all these things, mm -hmm. the constant yeah. barrage of like, yeah, you, you should do this. Yeah, and, and, and uh, yeah. You should do that. Yeah, and as soon as you, like, people will be, like, when we were making it, you know, People's Nothing's done now. It's, it's going to be the film, yeah. which we can talk about in a bit. But yeah, yeah. Uh, series wise, it's done, you know. But even before that, people would be like, when's the new series coming out? The series comes out. After the last episode, when's the new one coming out? Like, like, <laughs> fucking hell. Like, you know, like, you swallowed that one quickly, didn't you, yeah, mate? Trust me, if I banged them out as quick as you want me to, you wouldn't like it anymore. Yeah, <laughs> because, yeah, yeah. It, it, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, it's not, you know, like, it's, it's a lot of work, man. And I, I'm not as talented as, um, I'm not that talented to be banging them out like that. <laughs> yeah. But I know what you mean. You it's, it's supply and demand, especially now, is like, yeah, exactly. Like, because it, it's very, uh, it's done, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, Whereas before, if you had something, your favourite thing, you'd you'd watch it, you'd watch it again and again and again, and you know what I mean, and you'd live with it. You know what I mean? How many times did you watch The Office? I think so I'm saying The Office is two seasons, two series. I think I must have watched both seasons a trillion times. The same. Do you know what I mean? It feels like there's <laughs> loads because I've watched them so many times, but yeah, there's yeah. actually only 14 episodes. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's all you need. Enough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I mean, that's I'm not comparing what we do to that. That's for me, the holy grail, do you know what I mean? It's the holy grail, yeah. But, yeah, but, for sure. but, but, but there will be people, and I'm included, that would say that people just do nothing is within that that bracket of cult following. Yeah. Because it is a cult following. It's, yeah. People don't think too deep about um, the longevity of things, out, it, it, not in a commercial sense. Mm. They put it in that place of, oh, that was the last of that mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys... You kind of. Who was the guy actually? While I'm here, who was the Scottish guy? That the, the really fucking hardcore comedian guy. He was Scottish, and he was fucking. He was the comedian, and he. Libby. Libby, yes. Libby, yeah, 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 yeah. He was the last. He's he was the last yeah, that yeah. came through the door. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, that's dark as it yeah, gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Libby's hard. <laughs> and he's still hard. going, you know. Like in lockdown, he had a lockdown show and shit. But yeah, he's hard. He's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's sick. Yeah, it's people like that that give you your inspiration to like, do you know what I mean? Know that you can push the boundaries. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you because guys did that. Because it's easy to be complacent. You guys did that. Yeah. yeah I think the danger is though, the more you know, the more you're like, you can overthink it. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. 
it's not a good thing. Well, be, that you become a parody of your... Well, even, like, what you're putting out there, and that's what we were yeah. talking about earlier, like, yeah. how is this going to put... You, you just got to shut yourself off from that, man, and just yeah. create. Yeah, that's you right. I mean? It's like, got to be a You basically separation. keep that same hip mentality in, like, underground hip-hop and graph and that. Mm. That, you know, do this because you believe in it and you love it, mm. you know, and it doesn't mean you don't move forward, but it, I feel anyway, if you keep that mentality, you can create things that you are, whether other people like it or not, you're proud of. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and that's super important because yeah. if you don't, if you don't, because it's all a journey, mm. and if you ain't enjoying it and you ain't, and you ain't in love with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That is, that, what's the point? You, just be, point? you might as well be, it's the same as doing a soul destroy job that you don't like. Yeah. I mean, yeah. No one wants sure. it. Nah, man. And yeah. they'll see it as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They'll see it. So, so there's, a new, there's a new movie on the way. Yeah, man, yeah. So that was, that was already, we filmed it uh, not last year, the year before, set in Japan. And uh, that was wrapped last year. It was meant to come out last August, but obviously... Um, I don't know if you've heard, there's been like a little thing. <laughs> like, you know. Now you come to me. Yeah, you know, like a little pandemic. Going yeah, on, something yeah. like that, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, cause, yeah, because of that, obviously, everything's on pause and it's 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 coming out this August um, in cinemas. So I'm I'm really excited for people to see Gassed. it. Man. Is that the first cinema? Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah, I'm, yeah, turbo gas, yeah. I've, I've not seen it, just so. Yeah, yeah, Marcus yeah. has not it's seen it. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, he, he, no, didn't no, have, things, but he didn't have the option to see it, but... <laughs> <laughs> joking, yeah. yeah, no, um, and then uh, alongside that, releasing a, the first proper Corrupt FM album as well. Hold on. Yeah, which is uh, Corrupt FM Greatest Hits, because <laughs> in the film, so I'll tell you a little... So it's the soundtrack I, of the film? Nah, so like, I guess a little bit in the sense of like, it's got the essence of it, mm. but it's all original tracks, do you know what I mean? As a separate thing. But in the film, I can't really give away anything because the trailer's not even out. But, okay, so... Well, what, it will be out when it comes out. Yeah, okay. Might cool. be. Might, might be, but... Uh, I can always edit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, do you know what? I, what I will say is that when we're in the writing process, we wanted to do something like... we You'd pretty much seen... You've pretty much seen everything in People's to Nothing, what can happen in the in the TV series, you mm. know. Um, them trying to make it through every avenue. Uh, they even go F, uh, for internet radio. You know what I mean? They, they, they try all these different things. <laughs> you've seen them have kids, you've seen them get married, you've seen them split up, uh, like Misha and Grindr split up. You yeah, know, yeah, you've yeah. seen all these fit different things. And like we that's why we ended it, because we felt like we'd taken it to the point where we wanted it and, yeah. and we don't want to like overdo it do you know what I'm saying yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we don't want to just do something for the sake of it mm. so when the opportunity of the film came up we were like we'll only do it if we can think of something original enough that that, that feels interesting enough to make a film do you know what I'm saying Ooh. so like what is this sorcery yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so yeah so we were like we've never seen them make it do you know what I'm saying so it would be funny to see them get a taste of success yeah. to, and see how they handle that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, people just do nothing. When you look at it, by the end, <laughs> the lesson learned is that it's about a group of friends. That's what it's about. Mm. It, it's a, it seems like it's about them trying to make it and Grinder's ego trying to make it, but actually it was always just for them. Mm. Like there's a bit, there's a, there's a clip that never made it in the last ever episode mm. where Grinder has to move away to Essex, yeah? And... They have one last set. They're like, fuck it, it's an old time set. They have one last set before I leave. And then in true Crutch Film style, they realise the transmitter's not on as they start emceeing. And then, <laughs> and then, Beat, and then Beats <laughs> goes, oh, fuck, the transmitter's not on. He's about to turn it on and I go, leave it. This is only just ever just for us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that, to me, it was felt too on the nose to put in the actual edit. Yeah. But that, to me, is what it was about. <sighs> Do you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Sometimes less is more. You don't need to say that. Yeah. But if we're discussing it, that's what it was about. And that's what we were talking about before, you know? It was the process. It's, it's, it's the hanging out. It's yeah. the doing it. It's not the what comes out of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and that's the lesson learned that for us and these characters. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But then, yeah, after that, it's good to see, like, how would they deal with 
with success? Like, mm. would they actually enjoy it? You know, like, is it is it the thing they actually wanted all along or not? Do you know what I mean? So, so Japan is one of them places, you know, isn't it? Like, <laughs> people that aren't big can be big in Japan. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah exactly. Like, exactly. There's always this weird little niche there. Yeah. So, so that's why we set it there, and, and that's kind of what it's about. So yeah, so we this first time we got with actual producers. Like, we've got like Sir Spyro, Rude Kid, um, MJ Cole, Zinc, Fred again. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> this it's, is the. It's crazy. Yeah, mad. You got sent a sip it? Chase and status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, D- yeah this yeah. isn't going to be a basic. This isn't basic. No, this is. So, this is within the Corrupt FM universe. This is. Because the, no, these people wouldn't want to work with Corrupt FM in, in, within that universe. Yeah. You know, within the Marvel Corrupt FM universe. So, it's like they've got this bit of pee, so they're paying these people off to work with them. Because it always has to have a logic. Yeah, that's... You know what I mean? co- yeah, because yeah. everything has got to be thought through yeah. narratively. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, and you know what? That's, that's a mad existence as a creative. You've got to think mm. about what would that person do? It's almost like stepping into reality, stepping back in, stepping back out. Because you've got it, to keep true to that, man. You've worked so hard at it. With, and not just me, like, with so many people behind it. It's like, you've got to keep it true to what those characters are. It's and, tough. And why, it's, that's that's a tough one, man. That's why you have to make it. It's good because it does, it makes you your decisions are all calculated and thought mm. out. They're not just oh, let's just do this because there's some pee there and we can make some. Pee. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's like would that make sense? And cool if you get paid off it. That's a bonus. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? And then we got uh, we got General Levy little jungle track with General Levy. We got hold uh, tight, General Levy. J.K. Mist, okay. Creed. D-double. J.K. You got J.K. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a Shout out, shout out them, man. Hold tight, JK. Yeah, yeah man. They're, they're just, we just basically wanted to think about the people that influenced us mm-hmm. and that we're into and that we're just generally fans of, do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And, and see if we could make it happen. And they were the ones that answered the call, really. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's loads more that said no. <laughs> wow, mm. cool. I mean, this is... This is so that's going to come out, man, This is about to, it's about to kick off. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been quiet from us because... Uh, just been doing our shit and obviously in lockdown. So this year, yeah, will be will be a busy one, man. But you made impact. Like it doesn't yeah. feel like there's a silence. It's more like, well, mm. very much like MF Doom. It's sometimes it, you need to take a step back anyway. Yeah, man. you have yeah. to find your sure. feet and don't want to over flood it. You know what I mean? Overdo yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and maybe that's something from more our generation. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. understanding that you don't have to do everything. Mm. Um even if those opportunities arise. Yeah. You know, but that, again, that's because I'm surrounded by all these boys that are my best mates yeah. and we can all check each other and say, no, this is the right move, this isn't, you know what I mean? Mm. It's not saying I'm some sort of, you know, clever mastermind. <laughs> it's like... No, but it's also about the amount It's about the amount of opportunities as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's yeah. been a few things that have come to my on my table recently mm-hmm. where I've had to genuinely question it based on the integrity and whether or not it That's works. That's it, integrity. Yeah, 100%, man. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's a constant struggle, man, because you've got to appreciate where you are and you've got to pay bills and you've got to be like, right, I wouldn't have had this opportunity if I wasn't doing what I'm doing. Yeah. But then it's like, what do I want to leave on on the sort of whatever journey I'm taking? The imprint of my journey. Yeah, 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 yeah kind of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. There's some things that you take L's for. Like... Mm. If you guys, for instance, if I was to see Corrupt FM do a Snickers commercial. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cheers, Marcus. Uh, yeah, do a Snickers commercial where you were just like uh, in the in the pirate radio station environment yeah. and you're fucking having it. And then right, get a Snickers. And then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and someone comes over with Snickers, Mr. T comes in. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I'll yeah. be in. I'll be like, yeah, sold, done. Do you know what I mean? Because they oh, you're being for that. I'll tell you what, yeah. So, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because it makes sense. No, you're right. Exactly that. Yeah, that's exactly my point. Because there are things that we've done and will do that, like, make sense within the world. But you always have to justify that. Yeah. That's exactly what I was talking about before. Like if a brand comes through and it's like, look, it's a payday, but we get to create some good content and we get to write it and it gets to be within that world, then yeah, yeah that's fine. That yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and it's a fine line it's because especially you're... lockdown's been tough, so sometimes you got. You know what I mean, There's you're, a few things you're, in that. Yeah. No, you're basically you've got two. You've got two personas. You've got, you've got the corrupt FM world. Yeah. But then you've got the storyline of somebody that you were never there when they were around. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. So, yeah. so 
you know, Grinder, the MC Grinder, you yeah. know his reality, you know what he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you weren't there. I wasn't there. So for you the, got, yeah, yeah, it's true. You got yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. almost like. I, I came to Grinder's life when he was like 25. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. shit's mad. Yeah, 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 it's true. I never thought of it like that. It's crazy. Yeah. So I wonder what coming. he's up to. Yeah, I wonder right? what Grind is up to right now. <laughs> Grind, comment below. Because yeah? yeah. <laughs> you know he fucking would. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Who's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's whack. <laughs> the fuck is yeah. he talking about? <laughs> and that killer keller. Fucking hell. Beatboxing now. Uh, fuck all that shit. Do you know what I mean? 90s. Yeah. <laughs> It's all that rap shit and that, too slow and that, yeah. do you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're looking forward to that. That's happening then. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully, it was, I mean, not from our side, but, yeah. you know. I it's going to do its thing. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of people out there looking forward to it as much as I am, Hopefully, my I don't disappoint, man. Yeah. It's been a pleasure having you on, my Thank brother. you very much. Thank right. you for having me, bro. And this will continue once we finish the finished recording. Yeah. Right, we're out like heroes out of fashion. We've got business to take care of. You guys, stay lucky. Take care of yourselves. Don't talk to any strange ones, all right? Thank you coming on Zebra. Bow. Stay lucky, people. <laughs> nice <Peace>. one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>